year at APFL, we set, set it up a new daylighting lab. That means daylighting tools, daylighting design tools, computer tools, and then also set up daylighting technology. And the aim of this technology is to bring a higher amount of daylight within buildings. Uh, there are tremendous uh, impact of daylight within buildings on the human people. And that means we can save energy for, for electrical lighting. We can improve the visual comfort. We can improve the visual performance of people, the amenity uh, they're related to lights, and even the health of people within buildings. So again, it's, uh, daylighting is a must for us uh, that we, should, we would like to see in, in every building. Outdoor, we have a, a very large daylight provision. We have a daylight uh, resource, which is huge, tremendous. And the challenge is to bring this daylight, even when for a cloudy day, to bring it in. In order to bring it in, we, say, we have here developed new daylighting technology, which are using uh, a theory of physics of non-imaging optics, which is coming from high energy physics, which uh, is a beautiful field of optical theory that can be used to design new collectors of daylights and new kind of uh, devices that can definitely bring daylight deep into office room up to six, eight, twelve meters deep from the facade deep into the room. We collect the light from the sky vaults by an external collector, daylighting collector, and then we, we uh, redirect this daylight flux in the direction uh, uh, from the facade in the direction of the, the end of the room, of the deepest part of uh, an office room. And we can save again electricity up to half a time in the day or even half a time over the, over the year that people can spend their time without turning on the electric light. Many people, they don't get their daily light exposure because of they don't get enough light inside of buildings or because of the, if they work at night shifts, like shift workers, or if light quality is not sufficient enough to entrain the circadian clock to be synchronized with the external 24-hour cycle. These changes have tremendous consequences, not only on human productivity, but also on health and well-being. And that is a little bit the reason what brought me here, because I think we need to perform and to explore further this area and bring them together. So we have to perform research in chronobiology and bring it together or bring it into architectural design and building science and lighting designs and apply new technologies to increase light quality in humans. Here at the EPFL, which is a, a exciting, a very exciting research area, I have the possibility to bring together different fields and to work uh, in an interdisciplinary way. We work with, physician, with physicists, we, I work with neuroscientists and with clinicians. And this allows us to really build up new networks which are very important and I think it's not possible to go further in this direction without this.